Hello and welcome. So this video is an extension of how to set up um, AD Connect using password write back. So this will allow users to change uh, Azure Active Directory passwords and sync back to on-premise AD any password changes as shown in the diagram. If you're looking how to set up AD Connect from scratch to sync on-premise Active Directory to Azure Active Directory, then check out the links uh, in the description below um, for the first part of the video. An existing on-premise AD configured with current version of Azure AD Connect is a prerequisite in making this work and covered in that previous video with the links in the description. So why would we want to use password right back? In a hybrid environment where Azure AD is connected to on-premise Active Directory, without password write-back, users can cause passwords to be different between the two directories. This means that if a user changes their Azure AD account, then tries to log in when in the office on-premise, their passwords will be different. Also covered in this video is using Azure AD self-service password reset, also known as SSPR. So users can reset their passwords or unlock their accounts using a web browser. So password writeback can be used to synchronize password changes in Azure AD back to your on-premise Active Directory. Azure AD Connect provides a secure mechanism to send these password changes back to an existing on-premise directory from Azure AD. So before we get started, please subscribe to the Cloud Inspired channel, videos posted weekly on cloud technical guides and certification. Thank you very much. So in this video, we will test password write back before the change. We will also take a look at Azure Active Directory licensing to enable the password write back feature. We will uh, take a look at account permissions, enable password write back using AD Connect, um, on-premise integration, we enable self-service password reset, SSPR, and then finally we will test password write back after we have enabled. So first of all, let's test and prove a user is unable to change their password without password write back configured and enabled. So we have a user called test AD sync Azure, which is synced from on-premise uh, Active Directory to Azure AD. So we will log in with this user and attempt to change the password. So once we are signed in to Microsoft, we can go to our account and we are, can now attempt to change our password. So if we click change password, we then get a message. Uh, you can't change your password. Your organization doesn't allow it. This is because password write back is not enabled. So we go into our Active Directory users. If we go into password reset and uh, an on-premise integration, we can see that we get a message on-prem integration is not being enabled. So everything is grayed out at this point. A working Azure AD tenant with at least uh, an Azure AD premium P1 trial license is also required to use password right back and to switch it on. So I've used um, the trial Azure AD Premium P2 license, uh, which you can see here, um, and you can get a one month free uh, trial of this. So the links are below in the description if you wish to use this. So our test AD Sync uh, Azure user is licensed um, for uh, AD Premium P2. It's also added to a group, as you can see here. Um, so uh, this is quite easy administration. So within Active Directory, we've created a group and we just add users to that group and then they will then get assigned the uh, AD P2 license automatically. This group is fully synced from on-prem AD to Azure AD using AD Connect. So using your already configured AD Connect, we need to take the account specified in Azure AD Connect and set the appropriate permissions and options. So we can see which account is being used here. If we go to uh, AD Connect and select the, the view current configuration option, the account you need to add permissions to is listed under synchronized directories. 
So please refer to the Microsoft document in the description for the following steps to enable account permissions for Azure AD Connect. In your on-premise environment, open Active Directory uses a computer with an account that has the appropriate domain admin permissions. From the view menu, make sure that the advanced features are turned on. Right-click the root object of the domain and select properties, security, and then advanced. From the permissions tab, click add. So for the principle, select the accounts that the permissions should be applied to. In our case, this was the account shown earlier in AD Connect. In the applies to drop down list, select descendant user objects. Under permissions, select reset password and then scroll down and select Write Lockout Time. And continue the scroll down and select Write PWD Last Set. And then once done, click OK, and then click Apply, and then click OK. OK, so now after the permissions have been set on our account, we need to now configure AD Connect. So if we open up AD Connect, if we click Configure, and then if we click Custom Synchronization Options, and then we need to enter our credentials of our Azure Global Administrator account to connect to Azure AD. Click Next. So click Next on the Directories page and also the Domain and OU Filtering page. And then on the optional features page, we have a tick box we need to tick called password right back to enable. OK, so if we tick this and if, if we click next. And then I'll speed up the video here once it configures. So now we need to enable on-premise integration within the Azure portal. So if we go to Azure Active Directory, if we click Users, and if we go to Password Reset, and then On-Premise Integration. So we can see now this is uh, enabled for us to choose and select. So if we write back our passwords, if we choose Yes, and if we allow users to uh, unlock accounts without resetting their passwords if we also choose yes at this point and then click save. Now we also need to check our group policy within uh, on-premise active directory is a minimum password age must be set to zero to enable password right back to work and be changed immediately. So if we go to group policy management and default domain policy click edit. If we drill down and go to Windows settings under computer configuration, security settings. And if we go to account policies and password policy, we can see our minimum password age is set to one at the moment. So we need to set this to zero to make sure that password write back happens immediately. So here we can switch on self-service password reset or SSPR. So we can choose to do this on a group level or we can just select it for all users. And then if we choose authentication methods, we we'll just leave this as default, but you can change this as required. We'll leave this as one method to reset with email and SMS. We can also force a user to add a, a security question here as well. Um, so we can add predefined um, security questions or custom questions. And we can also select whether our users are forced to register when they sign in. We have various notifications here where we can notify users on the password resets. We'll leave that as default. And we can also notify admins when other admins uh, reset their password as well. And we can use a custom URL if required. So now let's test this all out to see whether it's working. So we've enabled our password write back. So if we log in with our sync to user as we did before to see whether we can change um, our Azure AD password. So 
So I'll approve the sign-in request. If we now go to our account, and then if we click change password, so now we don't get the message, we're unable to do this. We basically type our old password, confirm our new passwords. Okay, now let's change successfully within the portal. Let's just check to see whether it's actually synced back to our uh, on-premise Azure Active Directory. So if we now RDP to our on-premise Active Directory domain controller, and we log in with our on-premise Active Directory account. We can now see that we can log in successfully using our synced password, which is written back from our Azure AD to our on-premise AD. So thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to the channel to get notified of future weekly videos on cloud technical guides and certification. See you all soon. Thank you.